Congratulations and thank you for your purchase of a Zoic Paleotech Velociraptor Air Scribe. Within the box, you will find the user manual. Please read this, as this is the paper version of this video. A maintenance pack containing air tool oil, silicon grease, and spare O-rings. The hose and connector with pressure regulator. The Velociraptor Mark II comes standard with its own separate pressure regulator. And the tool itself with its protective sleeve. After reading the manual, the first thing you will want to do is put together the pen. What you will want to do is take the end of the hose and slide it forward into the push fit, at which point it is locked in. If you want to remove it from the push fit, you will need to press down on these two blue tabs and pull the hose out. We know you're going to be excited to plug in your tool for the, for the first time and this section of the video will show you how to do it. So on your compressor most likely you are going to have two dials, one larger one that shows you the pressure in the tank and another smaller one showing you the line pressure on the outlet of the compressor. It is very useful and a lot easier if you don't have any pressure in this particular section and the, and the dial is set to zero. You can set the the pressure at the outlet using this particular knob. In order to plug in your tool, you'll want to take the male end of the uh, of the uh, of the connector, push it and slide it forward until this locking co collar slides over it and locks everything in place. At this particular point in time, you'll want to switch using using this on-off valve, so you can see we have 90 psi or six bars at the outlet. And on, on the pen, in order to adjust the pressure, moving the moving the uh, the dial clockwise increases the pressure. Moving it counterclockwise decreases the pressure. So you can adjust the working pressure of the pen. So you can have either full power or less power for more detailed work. In order to turn the pen on, you will want to use this on-off valve. And turning it on the first time, all of the pens come oiled from um, from our, uh, fr from the workshop there will be a bit of oil coming out. So you'll want a piece of, um, of tissue to absorb any of the oil. And as you can see, setting it at full power, you can lower it. One thing to, to bear in mind, at the lower pressure settings, it, it will be a lot easier to stall the stylus if you push too hard. This should, this should be a lot more difficult when you have it at full pressure and you can run the tool a lot harder. Now we're going to show you how to use the Velociraptor Mark II Air Scribe. So, now it's uh, plugged in. Pressure regulator is set at 90 psi, and I'm just going to turn the pen on. As you can see, even though it is equipped with the same diameter stylus as the Trilobite, this is a much more powerful air pen running at the same pressure as the Trilobite. The major difference between them is that this particular pen can be adjusted to run at lower pressures, so I'm going to do that now and take it down from 90 psi to let's say 2.5 bar, that's about 30 psi. At these lower pressures, the pen will still run, but it is recommended that you use it for detailed work, so like preparing between the ribs of an ammonite or detailed structures. At the lower pressures, the pen becomes a lot easier to stall, therefore care must be taken not to push the pen too hard. As with any other fossil preparation air pen, do take care of how you use the, the carbide stylus. We do recommend that you use it at lower angles to the matrix, so let's say around 30 to 45 degrees. 
try not to use it at 90 degrees because if the stylus works itself into a crack or digs itself into a hole it will snap either the very tip of the stylus or the entire, the entire stylus off. Before starting work with the Velociraptor Mark II Air Scribe, make sure that the head is properly tightened onto the body. You don't need any tools to do this, just hand tight will be, will be enough. If there is any space remaining between the head and the body, the stylus travel will be longer than intended and it can break the spring on the inside of the tool. So just hand tight and run the pen. The bushing of the Velociraptor Mark II is made out of uh, hardened and tempered steel to ensure maximum lifespan and you can use it for side to side or erasing movements. Maintenance wise if you use the tool every day we do recommend putting one or two drops of the supplied airline tool oil inside this connector on the pressure regulator. So just one or two drops. If you have an oiled compressor you might have to do it even less frequently. Slide everything back in, turn the pressure back on and the filter element in here will atomize the oil that's been put, that's been put inside and just run it through, through the pen. Troubleshooting wise there won't be too much you'll need to do with your tool but you may notice even running at full pressure which is 6 bars or 90 psi that it may stall from time to time and if that stalling becomes more and more frequent there are a few things to check. First thing and 9 times out of 10 this is the culprit is check the o-ring in the pusher plate. We do this by unscrewing the head of the tool gently pushing the stylus back And if this o-ring here looks at all perished, worn, cracked or brittle, take it out and replace it with one of the new ones. Tiny bit of silicon grease will be needed just to keep this o-ring supple in the compressed air. This is particularly important if you do have a lot of filtration in your system. And gently reinsert the stylus. You could oil it at this point and clean off the stylus but this is only just been done for this video so we're not going to do that again. So first thing to do now is just plug in the tool and check if it's running as you would expect. Another thing that you can check if changing the o-ring doesn't work is that there isn't an obstruction in the valve in the middle of the tool. So we do this again by unscrewing the head and if you look there, there is a tiny little hole. So if we've unplugged any pneumatic tubing or hosing from the tool at this end, and we do that by pulling these towards the tool or pressing them, and that will release the hose, we can hold that up to the light and just check that that little hole there is clear. If it's not clear, you can use your same hose, hold it up against that hole and blow it back through. So most of the time this is, this is unlikely to happen because if you're oiling your tool you'll be doing so through the male coupler. This will go through the pressure regulator and through this part here which is a filter. This will mist the oil and make sure that none of the contaminants or debris or anything else from your compressor is getting in. But once in a while you don't know what may have got in there from your workshop. The third thing to check and again this is this may happen depending on how dusty your workshop is and just be careful never ever to use your pens in the same cabinet as your air abrasives. You can use the same cabinet but make sure your pens are out at the time. Next thing to check is that your stylus is actually clean. So you can just take off the spring and then if you've got some solvent, some acetone, some isopropyl alcohol, something like that you can clean off the stylus which may have a little bit of sort of black grime this one's obviously brand new so there's no grime on this one but over time you could get a bit of rock dust or powder in there and that can slow the stylus down and cause stalling so once you've cleaned that off you can put it back in and check if it works you may also want to check that this part isn't dirty we can do this with some fairy liquid some acetone some isopropyl alcohol and run a pipe cleaner very carefully through twist it round and that should clear any contaminants or debris within the tool. We would recommend at this stage oiling it again, screwing it back together, plugging it in. Most troubleshooting is really easy with these tools. 
and there shouldn't be too many things that can go wrong, they're quite simple. But if you have any questions or queries, you can always contact us and we'll be able to talk you through it. Thank you for bearing with us through this video. We really hope you enjoy using your new Velociraptor Airscribe. We really love this one. It's so versatile. It does a little bit of everything, especially at the finer end of the spectrum. It's got a little bit more meat than the Microraptor. It's a really nice Airscribe and a really plushy feel to it when you're working with the rock. If you have any questions at any point that reach beyond this video or the manual, please do get in contact with us. We can be contacted via our website, email or phone. Thank you so much from the Zoic Paleotech team.